The earthquakes of 1811 and 1812 were the most recent, but not the only, large earthquakes to occur in the New Madrid seismic zone. And in fact, seismicity is ongoing there all the time. There's more than 150 earthquakes above a magnitude 1 that occur in the central U.S. every single year. Most of those are too small to be felt by people, but occasionally some are large enough to be felt, and once in a while, there are some that are large enough to do damage. This chart shows you just some of the magnitude 5 plus earthquakes that have occurred in the central U.S. since the early 1800s. So clearly, there's seismic hazard here. What can you do to be safe? The first thing you need to do is make a disaster plan. What will you do if an earthquake happens in the middle of the night? What about if an earthquake happens while you're at work and your kids are at school? It's important to think through these kinds of situations so that you can come up with contingency plans. Another part of this is making sure that you know what to do when you feel earthquake shaking. So if you feel the ground shake, drop down to the ground, take cover underneath a sturdy object like a desk, and then hold on until all shaking has stopped. The next thing you need to do is make sure that you have a disaster kit. This could be for earthquakes or snowstorms, tornadoes, any time when you may need uh, to be kind of on your own for a few days, right? So you need water, you need food, medication, first aid supplies. Don't forget your pets, they need food also. The third thing is a little bit more of an ask. Um, most of the buildings in the central US predate modern building codes, but there are things that you can do to make your home or the buildings that uh, you live in are own more safe and more able to withstand earthquake shaking. So the first thing, uh, you can have your home actually bolted to the foundation so that it doesn't slide off during earthquake shaking. You can also make sure to strap your water heater to the wall. Any furniture that you have, like bookcases, things that could fall on you and really hurt you, you can uh, strap or secure those to the wall as well. Also think about objects that could fall and hurt you. Make sure that you put heavy objects onto lower shelves. The number one cause of injury from earthquakes in the United States is from falling objects, unsecured objects in the home. So if you want more information on things that you can do to prepare for earthquakes in the central US, the USGS has a booklet called Putting Down Roots in Earthquake Country, Central US. I'll put a link to that uh, in the comments. You can check that out. And remember, don't be scared, be prepared.